Hi everyone and welcome to another cup of coffee. It has been a very long time since I've said that. It's been a very long time since I've done a video. Um, and even doing this is actually quite tough. I've told myself I'm not going to cry in this video. So, um, For some of you who know me outside of YouTube or who are my friends or if you have me on Facebook and you saw my Facebook live video, you will know that my friend passed away after a battle with cancer. Um, I just went to the hospital to see her after work, I had flowers in my hand and when I got to the hospital, um, her door to her room, the door to her room was shut and it had private do not enter and I just thought oh my gosh, and my heart sank and I was, all sorts of things were going through my mind like I had my flowers in my hand I was like no I've got my flowers to give to Nishi that you know I have to give them to her um, and I just stood outside the door and then moments later her husband came out and said Nishi just died like she just died and it really hit me to my core like oh my goodness it still hurts now Ooh. it still hurts now but I just wanted to do a video how to deal with death and it's funny because this is someone this is coming from somebody who isn't dealing with it very well but actually um, I just think there are certain things that I would just like to share that I think may help so I think number one is actually to allow yourself to feel the pain of loss like allow yourself to cry allow yourself to be upset and it's funny everyone's like yeah be strong be strong be strong I don't feel strong right now. I do not feel strong. I don't. I don't want to feel strong right now. And I mean, everybody who says that means well, but actually, I think it's really necessary for us to feel the pain of the loss. That person meant something to us. That person, you know, was in our lives, and they're no longer there. So of course you're going to feel hurt. Of course you're going to feel pain, and pain demands to be felt. <laughs> And I think when we try to deny ourselves the experience of feeling that pain, we actually prolong it. Because if I try to stop myself from um, from feeling that pain, all it is is that I'm gonna, it's going to be building up, building up, building up to the point where I just crash, to the point where it just all comes out in a tirade of just... Oh, I went through this phase where I was just trying to put on this smile to everybody like, yeah, Kathy's the positive one, Kathy's, you know, the motivational person, you know, just always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> but actually, death hurts. It freaking hurts. It, it, it's like someone has ripped something out of you. It hurts. It hurts. Death hurts like it is painful death is painful and actually you need to let yourself feel that pain like just one day I it just I just felt so hurt and I live by myself and um I just felt very lonely like I'm I'm I've lived for my I've lived by myself for five years more than five years now um I'm normally fine but in this period I've just felt so lonely um, and I believe in God I know God is there with me but you know, he also places people in our lives for a reason. He doesn't want us to live this life alone. We are supposed to have communion with others. And anyway, so I, went, I was trying to go and see my mum. Um, and then I just bumped into a friend. God bless you, Omoyemi. Like, thank you so much. And um, I just bumped into a friend and she just she was just like, yeah, what's up? Like, how are you? And just as I spoke to her, this was in the middle of shopping centre in public. As I just spoke to her, I just started to cry and cry and cry and cry and sob and so, like sob like my body was shaking like for about half an hour i was just crying and sobbing 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 um poor girl probably didn't know what hit her but actually i really needed to do that and what i realized was that i had been putting this mask on i had been putting this mask on trying to think trying to make people think that i was okay or trying to um see the positive sides and yes Nishi lived an amazing life she lived she was a wonderful person and I totally see that and I totally thank God for that but actually I needed to deal with the pain I still need to deal with the pain it's not over I'm I'm, I'm still gonna have days where I cry I'm like it's a process it is a process um so actually I really needed to to just cry and what I felt like was that you know like Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden when they were kind of hiding from god and they were putting on fig leaves like breasts fig leaves um private parts fig leaves 
trying to hide but it's like actually god sees everything god already sees that you're hurting god already sees that you're in pain so why are you trying to hide that so actually yeah one way to do with death so that was a very long and roundabout way to say just let yourself feel the pain let yourself um go through the pain it's necessary don't try and hide it you need to you need to grieve you need to feel sorrow you need to feel sad you need to feel sad there's nothing wrong with being sad because if you weren't ever sad you would never know what happiness was the bible says that there's a time to grieve there's a time to be sad you know and there's also a time to be happy there's a time to rejoice so actually we need to live these parts of our lives um a massive way for me is if you can like Nishi had friends from all over the world so obviously not everybody could attend but if you can go to the funeral go to the funeral that that's for me is a huge way to deal with death go to the person's funeral um, because it actually gives you a formal way to say goodbye it gives you a formal way to pay your last respects I hate that I hate that term so I pay my last respects but it does and ultimately it does it gives you a moment to just have that last closure that last time to say actually you know what she actually really had she actually really is dead the person is dead because a lot of us we go through denial like we just say no what the hell she isn't like that person isn't dead like no way like that's impossible so yeah go to the funeral and actually Nishi's funeral was a beautiful celebration of her life it was such a beautiful beautiful celebration of her life um some of it was painful and again pain this word pain 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 for goodness sake death hurts like it really really freaking hurts so go to the funeral be there so that you can actually accept or just acknowledge that okay this person has passed away she's no longer alive he or she is no longer alive <sighs> another way is to accept that everybody grieves differently everybody deals with death differently and just because somebody isn't expressing their feelings the way you are doesn't mean that they aren't grieving um it's not about who can cry the loudest it's not about you know who's showing the most emotions it's not like oh that person's not crying so they didn't care about them just because you cry doesn't mean that the other person who isn't crying isn't grieving isn't feeling for her death and actually um a lot of people you know are very angry some people can become really irritable even at Nishi's funeral one of my friends really just snapped at me and got very angry all of a sudden I just thought you know what that's not him emotions are running high um, and on a normal day he wouldn't have been irritated by that he wouldn't have been angered by that so it's about actually accepting it and some of the things that people do when they're grieving just seem so out of character for the person seems so abnormal for the person but actually they need to they, they are just expressing their grief in a different way so understand that everybody grieves differently nobody grieves the same way nobody grieves the same in each different death it's funny because um i've had probably I've, I've known quite a few people to die um but every time i've just dealt with it this differently it's, it's it's affected me in a different way and this depends obviously on the relationship you've had with the person the um the, the circumstances surrounding that death like even what even the same person doesn't grieve the same way for different deaths so no two people will grieve the same way um when my cousin died i was just in denial for the for the longest time i just couldn't believe it. i was in shock i was in numbness for so long and i remember when that hit me it hit me hard i was just like oh my gosh like oh my goodness um but Nishi's death has just has really hit me has really hit me and again I think it's because I was there and when she had just died that that's when my mind was like yeah she's dead she's gone she's gone so so yeah everybody grieves differently do not take it to heart if someone's ups if someone angers you or upsets you or treats you badly whilst they are grieving because everybody grieves differently another way to deal with death is to sleep and eat whenever your body allows you whenever you can um i've um, this is actually 3 a.m in the morning i have not been able to sleep <clears throat> properly for goodness knows how long um it's like 
sleep just evades me and every time I try to sleep I always wake up in the middle of the night like I cannot I ha can't remember the last time I had a full night's sleep I can't remember um so actually whenever I do feel tired I try and sleep at that point in time obviously it's not always practical if you're at work you can't just run away and sleep and actually to be fair to be completely honest there there has been a time where I was literally so tired I went into the toilet and slept in the toilet because actually my body needed to sleep then and then and there. It may not, your body's not running at the normal convention anymore. When you're going through a bereavement, when you're going through death, your body's not in the normal space. It's not in the normal place. You know, um, it doesn't listen to what the world is saying. It's not running on the timelines of the world anymore. It's just, it's, 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 you're there. You're, you're there, but you're not there. Like you're there, you're going through life. But you're not really there your mind isn't there your body is just in another place you're just thinking oh my gosh and even for me when nishi died i was just thinking how on earth is the world still continuing like do you not know that nishi levitt has just passed away that's that's that was literally my thing i was, I was like how on earth are people going about their daily lives what is going on so it is tough it is tough but <clears throat> yeah so allow yourself to sleep and eat whenever you can um, because you don't know when your body's going to want to eat again. You don't know when your body's going to want to sleep again. It is really difficult. You lose your appetite. You just feel like, what is the point? Like, I don't want to eat. I don't want to sleep. Or not even that I don't want to. I've been wanting to sleep, but I haven't been able to. I simply haven't been able to. So allow yourself to sleep and eat whenever you can. For me, the one of the biggest is to trust in God. If I'm a Christian and I believe in God. And for me, that is how... I've got any sense any any sense of possibility of any any sense of endeavor right now if I didn't have God I don't know what I would do and I said it in my Facebook live video I just don't know what I would do without God I don't know how I would deal with death without knowing one she's she's with God two that you know this is bigger than me like there's someone out there who cares for me every tear that I'm crying he's he's wiping it away he feels he knows every every tear he can he's he's collecting it in a bottle and he he's he's holding me you know like god is there for me he he's fighting for me he's wanting me to get through this he's he's comforting me he is comforting me and for me you know one of the best verses is john chapter 16 verse 33 that's where jesus says in this world you will have many troubles but take heart i have overcome the world and that means so much to me. It's like, yes, I am in pain right now. I am suffering right now. I am missing my friend. I am missing the beautiful person that she was. But guess what? Jesus has already overcome. He's already overcome the world. He's already overcome the sufferings that I'm going to be going through. <laughs> and the sufferings, that I am, the sufferings that I am going through. So that encourages me. That, that blesses me. And the word says that this too shall pass. You know, with death, it is... It is it is a process and actually time is the best healer we feel this pain and I just yeah I guess the reason I'm doing this video is just to encourage you to allow yourself to feel the pain allow yourself to go through the emotion and finally what I would say is the best way to deal with death is to celebrate the person's life this person was here um, I know in some African cultures when you when the person dies you like delete every single photo of them you burn anything that belonged to them you just get rid of it in an aim to kind of delete that person's memory from your life so you don't feel the pain i mean correct me if i'm wrong i don't know what the reasons for the custom is um but you just get rid of anything that belongs to that person you you burn any photos that you had of them you just you just almost act as if they never existed but actually that person did exist and that person's life deserves to be celebrated and one thing i love about nishi is that she celebrated everything she celebrated everything if she met somebody on the bus she would take a picture and be like hey this is the new person that i met on the bus today like she just celebrated everything um and that is something that I need to learn. I don't I don't take pictures yet. Nishi was the person taking pictures all the time, like, ah, oh my gosh, nice to see you, let's take a picture. Like, do you know what I mean? It was it was crazy. And I have this thing where I say, um, you know what, actually let me just live the moment. Let me just let me just let me just be here. I'm in the moment. Let me just um enjoy it rather than try and take a picture of it. But actually, 
the Nishi's best gift to us is all the pictures she took. Like, I feel so much joy going through all of her pictures, seeing her life, you know, as it progressed. And actually, I need to take more pictures. And it really hurts me when people pass away and I don't have a picture of them. Um, and I don't have a picture of me and Nishi on my phone. She's got loads on her phone. Um, so I actually need to get those pictures. But I, I just... I just don't normally take pictures and I don't celebrate anything. It takes me it took me ages before I celebrated any birthdays. I just I just feel like why? But actually we need to celebrate life. We need to celebrate, you know, this life that we've been given. We're here for such a short time. We need to celebrate this life and we need to do the best that we can do with this life. And that, the thing is with death, a lot of us do become depressed. A lot of us will become depressed and we'll just think, what is the point of life? Like, what is the point of living in this earth without that person in it? It just, like, the the, the world just doesn't make sense without, without that person in our lives. I do feel like that right now. But what I actually do want to do is to live the best, biggest, even better life than I, than I ever would have because she's not here and I want to do it in her memory and I want to do it because she was larger than life she was tiny <coughs> she was short and tiny in stature but actually she was bigger than life like she was so much bigger than life she did so much and she loved so much because there's one thing about doing but actually the thing that people remember you most for is how you made them feel and she showed so much love so actually now what I want to do is to celebrate life and I think, actually no, what I will do, not I think, what I will do is start 30 days of the hashtag celebrate life. I'm going to share pictures, videos, for anything, you know, that can just celebrate life, whether it's on my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, I'm just going to share things, um, probably things that I haven't shared before, things that just, that just celebrate life. And I mean, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. We are alive, we have the decision to either let that person's death be the death of us or we could actually say you know what this person has lived and she's lived an amazing life but you know what she's not on this earth anymore so i'm gonna fly the flag for this person and live an, a crazy ambitious life a crazy loving life just loving on people that i meet loving on people that i know loving on myself i'm just gonna love on me i'm just gonna do that so <sighs> This has been another cup of coffee. I hope it has blessed you in some way, shape or form. Leave a comment. If you are going through a bereavement, if you're going through a loss, I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. And I just pray that, you know, get people around you who can support you, get people around you who can be with you. Oh, it's not easy. It isn't easy. But, you know, the pain, the pain will pass. The word says, this too shall pass. And the pain will pass it will go eventually um yeah sometimes i just i have days where i'm fine and i'm like yeah I'm, and then something brings it back and i just go oh, it's like someone's just stabbed me um but you know what the pain will go so keep staying strong whether your strength is in crying your eyes out for that day and allowing yourself to cry if that is your strong right now do it if your strong is going out and just going for a walk or buying yourself flowers just to make yourself bright in your mood. I painted my nails yellow because that's my favourite colour. And you know what, normally I wouldn't be so bold. I think, well, that looks really unprofessional. But I'm like, you know what, I just need to feel better right now. And yellow is, makes me feel happy. So I'm going to do it. So yeah, bless you guys. Thank you for watching this cup of coffee after so long. I will, like I say, be doing 30 days of Celebrate Life. So check out my Instagram, my uh, Facebook, Twitter, at Cafe Kareem. And yeah, let us celebrate life. Let us do whatever we can to live this beautiful life that we've been given while we can. Mwah.